health minister himself, Kukwa Jimamenu, has been reacting to claims and the demands by the minority asking for his dismissal. My colleague Paka Wilson has been interacting with him uh, just a couple of minutes ago from Parliament. Listen. Filing, filing a, 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 motion, a motion of censure against you. What do you, what do you say to this? I'm not aware of it. You're not aware of the motion? Yes. So, but are you perturbed? Do you feel um, you could be? Yes. Perturbed of what? What is my crime? That is why I said I don't want to talk to any journalist now. I will get too emotional over unnecessary bickerings and arguments. There was a committee. The committee's report has been adopted by the chamber, and I want to end there. Please. But, but, but do you feel that you could, you could be dismissed by the president because of this? Eh? Well, so that's the um, health minister there. Well, so uh, Parker Wilson there interacting with the uh, health minister who was making his way out of uh, parliament. Let's uh, go back there. Parker is joining us uh, now. Uh, what more do we know about the demands that minority is making? Oh, bless it. The minority is clear that if you look at the report, even though the health minister said that um, he didn't do anything wrong, as you heard in retorts, that what's my crime? If you look at the report put together by the bipartisan committee, the fact-finding committee, the conclusion of the report, I'm going to read just a paragraph to you, which says that the committee found that the Ministry of Health did not comply with the requirement of Article 181 of the Constitution in respect of its agreement with Mrs. Al Maktoum. However, the, com the, the committee now asked the reason why the minister did not comply. Now, it goes on to say, the minister said that he did that because of the exigencies of the time when COVID-19 posed public health crisis with highest fatalities and there was urgent global search for vaccines. And at that material time, the agreement was signed. All government to government sources had failed as the bilateral sources had communicated to the ministry that they would only be able to deliver in August 2021. So that is the reason. And so the minority is saying that this clearly indicts the minister. This shows that the laid down procedure, I mean, they, he, he disregarded the approval of the PPE board. Again, the agreement did not seek parliamentary approval. And of course, the contract sum again was overpriced. And so these are some of the things they believe that based on this document, they have every right to move a, a motion of censure against the minister. And bless it, let me say that it is going to be a Herculean task for the minority to walk, walk through this part, basically because that they need two thirds to carry through with this motion. If you look at the two thirds in the House, considering the number that is 275, we are looking around 190 MPs or perhaps 200 MPs. So by extension, the NDC MPs would need the support of not less than 40 NPP MPs to back them in their quest to get the minister sacked. And that would be a very difficult thing, a Herculean tax for the minority. I've been engaging some of the uh, majority caucus and they are clearing their minds that the NDC is only making a political statement. They will not support any move to get the minister out of office. The president appointed him since then the president has commended him for his good works. And so, even if they file the motion of censure against the minister, the NPP caucus will remain solid behind the, the, the minister. They will throw that weight behind him and defend him because they believe at that material moment, he did the best thing to save ordinary Ghanaians from contracting the virus and of course, uh, getting cured from, from the virus. And so there's nothing wrong that has been occasioned by the minister. So. Going forward, it is going to be a Herculean tax for the minority. And I must say, today is the day that the minority filed the motion. Uh, the speaker is here to adopt the motion. When the speaker adopts the motion, uh, the, the minority has about a seven-day period, after which the motion will be now presented to the House uh, for debate. Now, the debate will happen within 14 days. After 14 days, then a vote will be taken then they will decide whether or not the minister should be dismissed. But I must say that during the course of the debate or the conclusion of the debate, the minister will be given the opportunity to mount his defense as far as the allegations against him are concerned. 
he'll be given opportunity or parliament is going to hear his defense and after that that is when the vote will be put for the NPC to take a decision on him so we are yet to to to, to go through that of course the first hurdle we, we we have to cross or the minority has to cross is for the speaker of parliament urban babin to adopt the motion and from there they take it up from there but i must say that even if the speaker adopts the the the, the motion it will be very difficult for the ndc to get the, uh, the health minister out of office. Uh, well, Paka, just, just the, the, the very last moments we witnessed there between yourself and the health minister, uh, he was very much resistant in giving you further um, comments on what it is that the minority was asking for. Uh, tell us about his general mood ever since uh, the minority started all of this in parliament. Well, he described it as unnecessary bickering and from the minority and uh, for him whatever is happening he did no wrong he still remain or stand by the point about the exigencies of the time compelled him to do that but i must say that clearly he's unhappy with what's happening uh, some few months ago he told us that he has no credibility left because the media and Ghanaians shredded him into tatters uh, because of his involvement in the procurement of the Sputnik V vaccines. But however, if he speaks to me or any other journalist, he might get emotional. Is the reason he does not want to provide any further information with regards to the move by the minority to get him out of office. At the appointed time, according to them, the health minister, he will state his position and let us know uh, how he feels about what the minority is doing. But for now, he reserves his comments because perhaps if he's able to speak to us, he might get very, very emotional. And so that was why he declined uh, to uh, provide further clarity or further information on the quest by the minority to get him out of office. Aka, we're grateful for the update you're giving us. Obviously, we'll be uh, coming uh, back to the precincts to find out what it is that's happening later uh, in a subsequent bulletin. But we're.